This is AppChasers.com. Today we're taking a look at a great app by Smile Software called Text Expander. If you're anything like me, you like getting a lot done with a little effort. And that's just what Text Expander on the Mac allows you to do. Let's show you what I mean. I have a text edit document open here that contains a message that I'd like to send uh, by email. And it's all in the Chinese language. I find myself often sending out the same message uh, to different people that I meet. So how could I do this uh, very quickly without having to constantly refer back to this document, but instead just stay in the email comp composition window that I'm already in and just trigger this action? Well, let's show you how to do it in Text Expander. So I'll open Text Expander here on the Mac. You can see that we've got a few different folders that we can organize our snippets in, which are the uh, phrases, words, phrases, and documents that can be automatically expanded upon a trigger word that we type. Let's create a new snippet up in the upper left-hand corner. And uh, let's go back to our text document. We'll select all the text, copy it, and paste it in Text Expander. So you can see we've got it here in our snippet creation window to the right. Now at the bottom, we need to create an abbreviation. This is going to be what we type when we want to trigger whatever application we're in to automatically fill in this, uh, these uh, texts. So let's type in here ch.email for Chinese email, and we're all set. So there we go. We're all done creating that new snippet. Now watch what it, this will do here. Let's go back into our text uh, edit. Let's clear this out. And now let's simply type in ch-email. Now see, Text Expander automatically populates this text edit document, or it could be an email, anything uh, that you'd want to place text in with the uh, snippet that we already created. Now let's create another one here. Let's close this out and let's go into Microsoft Word. Now here's an address that we'll want to quickly send to someone. This is something that we do over and over again. So we'll, in Word, we'll go ahead and copy this, we'll go over into Text Expander. We'll go ahead and paste that. Now we've copied it from Word. At the top of the uh, snippet window, you can see we've got content as plain text. Let's switch that over to formatted text and we'll paste this in. And let's go ahead and uh, put a picture in here too. Okay, so now we've got our picture in here too, and we'll create our abbreviation. Let's just say um, AH, or assembly hall here, and we're all done. So now let's go into our Word document again. We'll clear this out, and we'll just simply type in AH, and watch what happens. We've automatically got our image and our text. We can go ahead and resize that. Word uh, scaled that up a little bit. So we might want to also send that as an email. We can go ahead and do that. Let's just click in our email uh, field here of the body of our email. We'll type in AH. And there we go. We've got our address and our image right in our email. So Text Expander is great for um, being able to quickly a place text and even images anywhere you want in any app that you have open on the Mac. We'll show you something else neat that Text Expander does, and that is to create fillable forms uh, to in be included when you're typing out a document. This is an email that I'd like to send out to a number of different recipients, but I'd like to include their personal names. Well, Text Expander can pop up uh, some fillable fields for me to be able to uh, fill in as I send this email. I'll show you what I mean. You can see I've got a few blanks here in this email, and I'm going to want to fill those in as I compose this email. So right here I've got hello blank. Now the person's name will go in there. On Friday I will be going to, and I'd like to fill that in. And then lastly, I'll send so-and-so to pick you up. Let's show you how Text Expander will prompt me to fill in those fields. I've got a new snippet here that I've created with this email in here. Now I've, I'll go ahead and select that blank. You don't have to have a blank in there, but I'm just doing it for this presentation. And Text Expander now allows us to select from different macros that can be run while composing this snippet. So let's go in here and say fill-ins, single line field, 
and we can just call that name say okay now we'll click on this one we'll go back to our snippet and excuse me our fill-ins and we'll say single line field and this one will be place and lastly select that one go down to our fill-ins and we can pick single line and this will be friend okay there we go now let's go and create our abbreviation that will trigger this snippet so we'll just say double e m a l e and there we go now if we're composing an email here let's select all this get rid of this and we just simply type in double e m a l -E. Watch what happens. Now Text Expander brings up a separate window asking us to fill in these fields that we created. So we can say mark tab going to the Tigers game tab and we'll say Lance. So let's watch what it does now. We'll click OK and Text Expander automatically fills in our email with those details. So it's really neat how Text Expander incorporates different macros to be able to run as we uh, create our snippet. We'll show you some of the other options that you can choose with macros when creating a snippet. So before I had a, uh, a line here, a single line macro, we'll go ahead and recreate that for our name. And we can call that name again. And this time, on Friday I will be going to we're going to create a pop-up menu now that's gonna allow us when we trigger this snippet to expand it'll uh, ask us to select from a few different choices in a pop-up menu so we'll uh, call this game and we'll we've got a few different options here we'll say Tigers game Tab that will say Lions game and Pistons game. All right, there we go. So we'll choose those. We'll get rid of these other options here. And you'll see what happens when we trigger that. And uh, then I'll say I'll pick you up today. And let's go ahead and create a date macro. So we can pick the format of our date. Now this is going to automatically fill in uh, whatever the date that we trigger this snippet. So we'll say today, January, or whatever date that the current date is. And we want to put in the day format there, comma, space, and whatever the current year is. All right, there we go. Now, it looks like we're all done here. Let's see how it expands in our email. So we'll type in our abbreviation again. E E M A L, and now it brings up this uh, nice nice uh, window here that we can now type in our name. Let's go to our pop up that we created: Pistons, Lions, or Tigers game. We'll say Lions game, and you can see it automatically filled in the the date. And uh, then we can hit OK and it puts it right into our email. So Text Expander is an awesome way that you can quickly type out uh, messages, different uh, text with formatting that you often find yourself uh, repeating over and over again. Now all these snippets can be organized in the left hand side here and uh, there's also a menu bar, a uh, nice little trigger here for searching our snippets, um, hiding text expander that you can do here. You can disable text expander if you are typing these abbreviations and you don't want it to expand. You can create a new snippet right here from our menu bar and you can uh, go ahead and look at the different snippets that you've already created. Text expander is an awesome way to quickly input a lot of text with a little effort and it's by Smile Software. Now there's also iOS versions of this. So take a look at those too in the iTunes App Store. This has been AppChasers.com.